Okay. All right. So we'll go with an easy one first. And we're live. We're going now. Oh, yeah, you're live. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Should real you... quick, Carl. What, what? I mean, I know we covered this in the last week. You, you got going on. Your your lighting is so good. I picked. Yeah. I was just telling Lauren before yeah, the podcast started. I'm in a little cave. Corner. Yeah, I know you're in a cave. I can tell by your shitty. Oh, ooh, party cave. Maybe I can use my beautiful cube to light myself better. Your cube. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I could go green, orange. It's very subtle. Ah, eh, who cares? All right, action. Um. Well, wait. Do you want to introduce yourselves first? Yes. <laughs> Chris, start us off. <laughs> Hello, online. It's me, Chris Farron, and I am a popular musician. Oh. Um. Oh, hey, I'm Jenna. I'm in a band called Daddy Issues. <laughs> um, am I like hosting this now? Am I like the host of this? <laughs> Emily, would you like to go to end? Next up, we have Emily. Hi, I'm called Daddy Issues. Great. All right, Lauren. Oh, why aren't you going? I'm worried. I'm hosting. <laughs> oh, you're the host. Okay. Um, I'm Carl. I'm hosting. Um, <laughs> but I'm also in Museum Mouth and I work at Tiny Engines. <laughs> Rock and roll. Let's do it. Okay. So, what's you your comfortable chair on the entire planet? I need like a hot second. Jenna, what are you doing? I, I was just trying to destroy this. I think we have straw chairs at my house, and I was sitting in one, and now I'm not only covered in straw, but my butt is really itchy. Okay, go. <laughs> okay. What's your go-to exercise record and or a record that gets you pumped? Ooh, this is a good one. Who's that? It's my roommate, Jamie. All right. Um, uh, All right. Lately, I've been listening to the Dua Lipa self-titled. When I exercise, and it's like the most, it's just, I can't, I can't speak enough about how amazing she is. But that's me. Great. I exercise to um, Banks or um, Lord's Melodrama because both also exercise my emotions. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. Um, I, uh, I have an exercise playlist on Spotify. It's called I'm at the gym and I'm gay. Um, <laughs> but the highlights on it currently, the songs I like, look forward to are um, uh, To the Moon and Back by Fever Ray, <laughs> off of the new record Plunge. That song is very good. And then um, Find Me by Porches, that song. The vid like is of him like on like a weight bench and it just you know puts you in the setting, gets mm -hmm. you in the mood. Just in exercise mode. Yeah, yeah, and an exercise bike, yeah. Spin class, baby. I do, um, I just listened to that song from Closer, The Blower's Daughter by Damien Rice um, to cool myself down after I've done a lot of exercising to silence. <laughs> and Cut to the Feeling by Carly Rae Jepsen. God, I God, yes, God. Yeah, great, great exercise album. Thank you. I've not heard it yet. Yes, it's Sorry. it's wait, you haven't heard that song? Come to the feeling by Kelly. Yeah, I, I, I understand. Actually, yeah, music sucks. I feel you. All right. Moving on. What's the okay. next question? Well, the next question is only for Chris, but Yes. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As the king of Twitter, what is the best and worst part of it? And how do people become better tweeters? That's a great question. The best part of it is that uh, you get instant attention whenever you feel sad. And the worst part of it is it doesn't last uh, more than one second and it's meaningless. <laughs> uh, it's very uh, vapid and vacant and... Uh, Mostly just a distraction from actually doing anything productive. Yeah. What, what was what was there as a second part of the question or, or? Oh. Um. Wait. And how do people become better at Twitter? 
Oh, <laughs> just spend all your time on it. <laughs> I mean, you'll surely get better. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. Yeah, just just do a lot of uh, like refreshing. Yep, yep, yep. Faves, RTs. QTs. QTs. <laughs> Alexa, uh, dim the lights a little. <laughs> no. Alexa, dim the lights. I don't think I can do this anymore. Alex, Alex, Alexa, lights off. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> cool. Okay. Ooh, somebody else has Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to do your bidding, but she didn't. Uh, she didn't understand. Does she recognize your own personal voice, or is it just no? Like it's just anybody, anyone's voice. I live. I live in a low tech household. Yeah, same as hell. Sad. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm gonna try to be in an episode of Black Mirror. Yeah, I was about to say Black Mirror season four. Really got really got me. <laughs> Okay. All right. Back on, back on track. Okay. Do you have any suggestions for a couple of girls trying to start a band? Oh, do it. Yeah. Just start it. Do it. We do that. It's yeah. ridiculous. I don't you know how this happened. Yeah. You don't really need to have anything, you know, at your disposal other than like a will, the will to do it. We learned our instruments just by playing songs. I don't know why we decided to like write songs and then learn how to play instruments afterwards, but we did. Um, but it worked out, I guess. We learned. You just have to practice. And, I don't know how to play the bass. Yeah, and also, you know, not let anybody get to you and tell you that you can't. Just believe that you can because you can. Uh, play shows as much as you can. Use it as practice. It's fun. I think, yeah. I'm trying yeah, to think if there's anything else. Yeah, just do it. Okay. Nike. Um, Diana Mitchell. These all came from one person on Twitter. Uh, um, is it CJ? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> the world. Um, tell them one about the cantaloupes to kick things off. What about cantaloupes? Like they're great uh, nutritious snacks. Can also be used as a meal if you eat both halves. What's, um, what's her joke? She has that joke. What joke? Oh, oh, that's what. Okay. Um, do you hear the one about the melons that couldn't something get married? Yeah. No, I haven't. What is it? <laughs> That's a good joke. I think it's more involved than that, but I just don't remember it. Sorry, Siege. <laughs> just kidding. Perfect. Um, Chris, who is your least favorite member of Daddy Issues? <laughs> wow. Mm, yes, I've been thinking a lot about this. Um, <laughs> There's no a least favorite. How dare you? I would never even consider such a thing. And they're all my favorite. Oh. I don't think that's answering the question, though. Yeah. The other Jenna, because she's not here. <laughs> she's sick. <laughs> well, she's sick. Yeah, the other Jenna, because she's sick, then. Bye. What? I was hoping it was me because I'm trying to be meaner in 2018, but that's good I'm resolution. Talking. Yes. <laughs> that would be cool. To I've been trying to get Ice Queen to stick for a while, but it won't. Right, 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 right. Just right. give it time. More okay. time. Thanks. It's good advice. <laughs> <laughs> Being yeah. mean is hard to do, I feel. <laughs> yeah, it is hard. You just it take the finger of off, I think it gets easier. Um, what's your least fave ingredient to cook with? <gasps> seitan. Easily. I like bought seitan like two weeks ago to try and figure it out and I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even a vegan. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm bad at cooking. I don't do a lot of cooking myself. I like to do microwave things. I, uh, whatever is easiest to eat is what I will eat. That is my uh, diet. Well, what's your least favorite ingredient to cook with? Mine? I uh, don't cook, so all food. I don't cook I, any ingredient at all. If there are ingredients to make a thing, I'm not going to do it. Yeah, I I'm out. <laughs> yeah, I'm so fucking out. I'm right there with you. That's weak. Mine is banana. What? Cook with banana? Like banana bread? Banana you bread banana or like bread? any type of anything. I hate bananas. Oh, you hate the way they taste? Um, the way they taste and the texture, everything about I didn't know this about you. Yeah, yeah. This is interesting. I I've been only banana eating bananas for like the last two weeks, so I'm shocked. Insanely Damn. convenient, very easy to eat. Oh no, uh, it's healthy. a shame. It's a shame. They it's come okay. with their own wrapper? I know. <laughs> I, I didn't choose to be this way. Just <laughs> It's what I was dealt. I'll say this about bananas. Everybody's always saying, oh, you open them, you know, the other way because it's easier. Mm -hmm. It's not easier. And I no, don't do that. <laughs> the other way, the one with the long stem or the no stem? The no stem, like what monkeys do apparently. From the bottom or whatever, yeah. Yeah, everyone's like, oh, you know, uh, friggin' uh, bananas. Uh, uh, uh. And I'm like, shut the fuck up. I love your impression of everyone. That's everyone. <laughs> Great. <laughs> okay. Um, what's a music video you wish you were in and why? Whoa. Whoa. Can I go first? Yes. Yeah. Um, I <clears throat> I wish I was in the My Chemical Romance video for I'm Not Okay, I Promise. <laughs> <laughs> Just because it looks like literally so much fun. It looks insanely fun. Which video um, is that? What happened? <laughs> It's like the, the trailer for the movie, like the teen movie, where they're like in like high school or whatever. Right, right, right. And there's like the scene where the two jocks, like they double cross the guy in the, the suit. The What is that, a mascot suit? It just looks fun. Yeah. Oh, that's my answer. Yeah. I'd say, uh, which is the Buster Rhymes music vid film? Where Buster he's, uh, Rhymes, Chris. Hey, Busta, <laughs> I'm sorry. Lock me up. Uh, he's, uh, it's like all black lights. Is that get your no 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 no, no. dangerous or put your hands where my eyes can see? It's one of those two. I don't. Buster Rhymes. That had, seems very fun. He had scary music videos. Hell yeah, he was, was weird. Cool. He was pretty weird actually. Yeah, was he was. Pretty cool. He was he was Bjork um, when Bjork was also Bjork. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, I think, I don't remember who sings this song, but you remember that song, Butterfly? Oh my God, Crazy, Crazy Town. Town. God, never forget Crazy Town. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, come on, lady. Uh, when I was a kid, my mom would not let me watch that music video because she thought it was suggestive. <laughs> wow. She wasn't wrong. Now, I think it's just like a personal, I just got to do it. Yeah. Defy your parents. That's my advice on this. Whole That's how event. you start a band as a as a young woman. <laughs> <laughs> More advice. <laughs> I think I think that's fine. Or like any in sync music video. Yeah, I was gonna say um, some Britney like any Britney Spears video. Would be any? Oh yeah. Any. Sometimes, even yeah. sometimes. Well, sometimes it's like, I'm going to love to be in that bit. That's a good bit. Yeah, just go to the beach, Carl, then you're in it. <laughs> um, have you all seen the video for Ooh La La by Britney Spears? It's like the Smurfs video. No, I haven't no. seen that one. That one's really good. Yeah, she did a song. I think it's for like Smurfs. I don't know. Are there two Smurfs movies? I don't. I can't decide, but I don't Smurfs know. Smurfs 1 but... and Smurfs 2, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. I <laughs> uh, Chris would know. Um, but yeah, it's for Smurfs too. It fucking, the song goes off. Vid is so fun. Uh, yeah, I, I back you up on that. I'd be in that vid. <laughs> okay. Hey, is this mean to say that uh, if I play, if I'm playing at a venue and it's, and like I see a poster and it says Crazy Town was about to play there, it makes me feel bad. 
makes you feel bad. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why. Like some there's there's certain bands from the from the distant past that I that I'll like be playing at like a you know mid level size club, and then I'll see that they're playing there in a few weeks, and I'll be like, ugh. <laughs> I actually love that that makes you feel that way. <laughs> I, I don't know if I feel bad for myself or for them. <laughs> I don't know what the feeling really is. That's the best kind of feeling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will say though, seeing Jimmy Eat World, like talking about bands from the distant past, Jimmy Eat World puts on an amazing live show. Oh my oh, God, yeah. yes. I don't mean bands that are still like culturally rev relevant. Are you using that as a synonym for good? Uh, Sure, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Crazy Town and like, bands like Crazy Town. God. Yeah, Jimmy World, I mean, that's like, they'll still be good 20 years from now, so. Yeah. The Beatles. The Beatles, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. My goal with the new Museum Month record is I want uh, the Beatles to be in our R-I-Y-L. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's why it's taking so long, you know, it's got to be cool. You so can just good. put it there. I mean, yeah, but I want it to, like, mean something. I want it to be right. I want to be able to dispute it and be like, uh, come on. The Beatles, Red Hot Chili Peppers. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 311, My yeah. Chemical Romance. Perfect. Oh, Shania Twain. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, right. I'm, we're so off topic. Jesus Christ. No, it's okay. <laughs> um, what's one song you would want to cover? I was just thinking about this earlier today. I wanted to cover uh, what, uh, I'm on Fire by Bruce Springsteen. And then I was, and this happens to me a lot when I want to cover a song. I start getting into the lyrics. I'm like, what is this song about? And then I'm like, I don't want to do this anymore. I feel yeah. like that, that happens to me 50% of the time when I'm trying to cover a song. Yes. That, uh, yeah, I agree. That happens to me too. Um, my band, I don't know if y'all know this, but we cover a song every year for Valentine's Day. Um, and uh, this year I was like really petitioning to do uh, Take a Picture by Filter. And then when I sent it to the band group chat, Corey was like, what the fuck is this about? And I was like, you know what? Good question. So we x made it, but. Wow. Yeah. What is it about? I don't know. Uh, you want to look up the lyrics right now? Yes. You do that. I'll, I'll tell you the lyrics to the uh, to the Bruce Springsteen song that I want. Oh, Fly by Crazy Town. Oh my God, yeah, oh my God. A Daddy Issues cover of that song would be legit good. Oh my god. And you would do the rap? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am stating right now that I would be totally down. Hell yeah, that would be pretty sick. Uh, I'm on oh, fire. I think any Shania Twain song, now that like we're talking about shit, I just like got her on the brain. You gotta cover up like front to back and then do the second one. I was thinking about that because that's like an absolutely spectacular album. <laughs> that Kaching song is so good. Oh God, it was that was like my dad's favorite album when I was younger, and he would just play it constantly. That rocks ass. We've been trying to arrange a cover of "Voice" by Sky Ferreira oh, for like yeah. years. That's a great song. Pretty much, like we've been playing for like one week, and we we're like, "Let's cover "Voice" by Sky Ferreira," and we still have not worked it out. So y'all gotta do it! Oh my god, please yeah. do it! We, like, we touched on it like probably the first month we were a band, and we like yeah, this is so it. soon. It's like I haven't really like yeah. gotta do it. A, I think this... it'll probably be easier now that we kind of know how to play our instrument. <laughs> right. That's one of those songs where you're like, "I want to cover this song," and then you like get in a room, and you're like. What is going on? Oh, in yeah, there's like this double bass oh. in that song. Yeah, there's like so much happening. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here's here's just the first verse of this Bruce Springsteen song. <laughs> this is all. This is the only verse that I'm like, what is? Hey, little girl, is your daddy home? Did he go away and leave you all alone? I got a bad desire. I'm on fire. Chris, That's you all I not, mean, No, 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 no. <laughs> oh my what god. <laughs> No good. Uh -uh. Yeah, no, I'm exiting that for you. What's your filter song? Oh, I put it away. The lyrics are stupid. I think it's about drugs. Oh, okay. <laughs> there is like a, a 
the bridge lyrics are the hey dad what do you think about your son now and i just want to scream that just because i think it'd be like funny but like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my therapist would probably be mad at me so get the let out lips of an angel <gasps> oh my god i love hinder <laughs> Hey, oh my God. Okay. So there's like, there was one big venue in Wilmington on the topic of like, you know, other bands coming through and feeling weird. Um, and we played there like a year ago and they closed, but it's, you know, it's not that sad, but I remember being there and seeing like a poster for like, like where they have like the big artists coming through, like highlighted and Hinder was one that was highlighted. And I was like, Oh my fucking God. Yes. I don't think they played, but like that made me feel good knowing that like you know, Hinder was coming and I was playing there. Yeah. Hinder rocks. Yeah. Or at least that song. I don't think I've ever listened to another one, but. Yeah, I was gonna say. Great. Okay, this one, Chris and Jenna were dared to think of a rap duet about I citrus. We talked about this and we said that it wasn't gonna happen. <laughs> okay, that's not gonna happen. Is that CJ also? Yeah. Yes. He, yeah, there's a lot of questions. <laughs> um. <laughs> Carl, do you believe in ghosts? Oh my God, hell yeah. Wait, really? Yeah, oh my God. My roommate has a dog and it like will just walk around our house like growling and barking at nothing for no reason. And that is... <laughs> <laughs> There's one right there. They're so what? fucking real. Where? <laughs> <laughs> I just needed a house in Chicago that was definitely haunted. What was your evidence? It's like, I, okay, granted, like, this was like when we came back from what we were doing, so we were all like pretty drunk, but <laughs> we would like see couch cushions move around. What? That's yeah, a Somebody yeah. was supposed to down on this couch and got up, and they got up, and then the couch cushion like bounced, but it was like that's after a, they'd walked away. Guys, walked guys, Jen. And, like, what's going on uh, and things would move it was weird you had a poltergeist on your hands there that was yeah that's beyond ghost level i don't like that there's i think you guys seen that twitter of that guy who's crying yes. like in the apartment you david yes stop i, I felt so bad real or fake why won't he move out <laughs> i feel like that's ground i don't know that i mean honest, a haunting is a great reason to break a lease <laughs> i agree <laughs> Like more so than like any other thing, really. Yeah. Cockroaches, whatever. If you have a ghost, you're screwed. Get yeah, out. Yeah, that's you're done. Fuck yeah. that. Wow. I felt bad because I talked shit about the Dear David guy on like day one or two of all that going on. And then I read the thread and I was like, oh my God, this ghost is going to come after me now for talking <laughs> shit about this guy. But I was really just saying that like his shit is haunted because his apartment is painted yellow. It is. Like, it's a really harsh. <laughs> yellow and yeah. he has a green chair and he's asking for it it's tacky we have a green chair. i don't, I don't know his what is his, bad. his oh. is what has happened to this man oh crazy. for somebody who's deemed the king of twitter you need to read up on this Damn. i didn't oh. say that <laughs> deemed. see i told you i'm sorry i'm being more mean the people <laughs> said it and the people were wrong <laughs> you no know, it's like this guy who got the where does he live boston or something some city. Some city. Some <laughs> fucking <laughs> city. He like started having like sleep paralysis and he'd like see this little boy sitting in his, this chair with like a dented head or something. And like he like put a nanny cam around his house and the, um, he, they, they would like pick up movements when nothing was there and like things would fall off his walls and his cats were acting weird. And whenever he tried to take a picture of his hallway, it was black even though the lights were on. But doesn't he like write books? Yeah, he's releasing a book of art. Like okay, see, mm -hmm. I love. I know, that's where I'm kind of like on the fence. I'm like, is he fabricating art? Love marketing. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna yeah, get haunted for our new Beatles butter. record. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Life goal. Um, Chris, what's the worst thing you've smelled in the past week? <laughs> <laughs> is that another CJ question? Yeah, it's the last one though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what? <laughs> There's a skunk afoot. There's a skunk around here. 
that uh, one time when I came home, it's it was standing like on the on the steps of my apartment. So I just had to like wait for it to walk away. And it, it, it was just like staring at me. And so I just couldn't go to my, go inside. Because it was just like, just like staring at me and, and, and ready to squirt or whatever. Oh, don't say that word. I'm sorry. What a spray. Spray. Yeah. That's a way better word. So that's my answer. Gross. Um, the last question was a serious one. The last question you... for, uh, for the whole thing? Yeah, we yeah. You breeze through this. All right. I'm okay. ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, how do you deal with being lonely? Ooh. Um, I've started okay, so I got that the movie pass. I go to movies. Great right idea. I went and saw Lady Bird last night and cried in the theater with two other people who definitely had movie passes. <laughs> <laughs> I felt less alone. Yeah. Movie pass is the best. I've also, considered it. Yeah. And I yeah. go constantly. If you go one time to a movie, you've 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 uh, you're up. You've you've made your money back. It's paid for itself, yeah. yeah. Um, I like to take myself to the mall. <gasps> Me too. Oh, yeah. I don't like to buy, I don't usually buy stuff, but I just like to be around, I guess like if I'm feeling lonely to be around other people. There's always people there like doing stuff and walking around. And so I go yeah. do that or I'll go to Target um, and walk around. I um, will call a friend or go um, on Twitter, even though Twitter is kind of a hellscape, it's still, <laughs> You know, <laughs> it's not like the greatest world to insert yourself into, but it's all right. Um, there, it's people. Yeah. yeah, just doing stuff like that. Um, I like to uh, sometimes I go to the pet store and look at the pets, um, which is kind of fun. That rocks. Yeah, just things like that. Getting out, getting out of the house, because I feel for myself that if I just stay inside, it makes it worse. So. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I like love to just stay inside and wallow in my loneliness. <laughs> oh my God. But, Me too, but it's not good. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> on the rare chance that I'm like, wow, I'm sick of doing this. Um, I will also just go out in public. Pet store rocks ass. Target rocks ass. Going to the mall. I have like a bi-weekly trip to the mall that I try yeah. to make. Same. Um, the mall yeah. is the best place because you get to like insert yourselves into like other people's life stories and you're just sitting there you're like, hmm, I wonder why they're here eating that pretzel. <laughs> I love that it's always like immediate, it's food for you. <laughs> <laughs> like why are they eating that pretzel? Not like why are they in Sephora and they look like they hate makeup. What? Why is she like returning that? that wedding dress? Or yeah. Why are wow. they, why are they in the weird mini golf that's in the mall? Why are they not at a mini golf outside or something? Why did she buy her wedding dress at the mall? <laughs> Can you do that? <laughs> Probably. 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 Must be for disaster from from moment. Doesn't like Nordstrom have dresses or something? Yeah, Nordstrom rack maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Roast them, Chris. Roast them. <laughs> <laughs> buy my wedding dress from Wet Seal. <laughs> <laughs> from baby. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I was threatening to do this on Twitter like a while ago, but I was like when I get really lonely and then I start freaking out about money. Cause you know, like that happens. Um, those yeah. two things kind of go hand yeah. in hand. Yeah. I was like, I'm just going to get a job at hot topic. Like, <laughs> I feel like that's like, a, it's killing two birds with one stone. Cause then I'm at the mall, but I'm also making money. Yeah, you get to dress up in Halloween too. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Um, I like to go on walks just around just anywhere. Forever at night is coolest because it's dark and cool. And, yeah, uh, I'm scared of my neighborhood at night. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. I guess that depends on where you live. <laughs> In the day is a well is good. Binge watching TV. That um actually, yeah. yeah. I don't know if that's good or bad, but I do that a lot. It helps me. I've been watching The Office and Friends, which. Helps. Those are solid yeah. choices. I don't Those know how many more times I can watch The Office. 
It okay, seems like in, infinite because I've I've must be on my like fifteenth watch around of the whole season. I mean, it's a great show. It's, Double digits. It's like hanging out with your best friends. Yeah. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. it's and it's like just like a familiar like thing where you kind of know what's gonna happen. And it honestly, it's always very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, if you um, binge watch TV, then you have something to talk to other people about when you eventually see them. Yeah. Unless it's like bin like you you're binge watching something that you know no one else gives a fuck about. True, yeah. but then you can tell them to watch it, which is something I do often. I watched that TV show Wormwood the other day. It was not great. I don't. What is that? Is that one that about is. that guy that gets killed as a result of MK Ultra? Oh, that one was messed up. Yeah, it was cool. I wish it was more about MK Ultra than this guy who definitely got killed by the government. Yeah. It's like there's that no question. Me. It's like a whole TV show about, oh, what happened? But it's there, you know. Hey, I tried to watch the first episode of Riverdale and I was not interested. What? Yep. I've heard that it gets better. It does. It does. It does. <laughs> Is that about River that's what that's what that's about? Riverdale? I mean it's the Archie comic. It thing. gets better? Riverdale. Yeah. All right. I've heard, I haven't watched it. It, but it's yeah, like heard. definitely overacted and pretty cheesy, but I like see. It. I like stuff like that normally. I liked the Scream series on MTV. Ever heard of it? <laughs> uh, which is very good. But yeah, all right. I'll I'll give Riverdale another shot. Speaking of MTV, I just started binge watching The Challenge, which oh, is wow. something that I was obsessed with when I was much younger. Wow. But um, they're on like season thirty-one, which is that's insane. insane. Yeah, and now now like starting with like season thirty, and then like doing thirty-one, and now I have like thirty seasons to go back and watch too. After this, I'm just like enabling myself. I'll never be productive again. What was, but... game show? What was that? Is it like a game show? It's like a it's like contest based where they like have to like compete in these like physical challenges and then you get people that win and they send people into elimination rounds and stuff. It started as the ro real world road rules challenge. Yes, it did. Ooh, and road rules versus real world. But then I think they just stopped making road rules, so they were like, I guess it's just called the challenge. Yeah, and then like at like season twenty or something, they started bringing in people from like other MTV shows that now or not road rules because road rules has been canceled for a thousand years um so yeah it's really good i love it and it's so funny because so many people that i like rooted for when i was in high school are like still on it like they've made like a career out of it so they're like familiar oh. faces and i'm like oh my god that's like my mom competing against my dad against <laughs> these newbies oh it rocks i love it something that is inspiring to me is that that uh what season Okay, so there's that guy, Mike, who when he would get drunk, he was like, when I get drunk, I'm the Miz. Who's that guy? <laughs> that was on The Real World? That's on The Real World. Anyway, that guy, some just ding-dong on Real World, he would get drunk and be like, yeah, it's like my alter ego. When I get drunk, I'm the Miz. Oh, that and, sounds uh, insanely familiar. Sounds but... a lot like me. And now, that guy is a true professional wrestler for the WWE, and he goes by The Miz. And that <laughs> is very inspiring to me. That it really is. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. I feel like there's a stigma that if you go on a reality show like that, your like life is over. But obviously not. Well, what it's about just beginning. <laughs> it is just beginning. Yeah. I gotta go in the real world. You would you be would, great. You would be you so would be great. great. Yeah. I think I'm too old now. No. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not... <laughs> we should all apply. Come on. I feel like I feel like a real world Nashville is like absolutely inevitable at this point. And I'm they like, must have. Already, I'm. Sh they have to have done one. I I swear to God. I need to look it up. I I'm not real sure. world Nashville. Sounds like the worst. Yeah. Well, it's just like it's. I feel like I'm in an episode of Real World in Nashville every day. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I think you're right. They maybe have not to done it yet. They've done a bunch of cities twice. Then why were they delaying Nashville? Come on. That's right. it. With it. Well, they, they knew how it was gonna be. <laughs> so, oh, let's, go go there. let's go get hot chicken. <laughs> wow. Just kidding. That's literally what I do every day. Bye. Wait. What state is Nashville in? Don't tell me. I'll find it. Oh my God, Christopher. Um, do you guys each want to give advice before we go? Like, oh. 
your like go to advice, I guess. Oh. Yeah. Who wants I, to start? Somebody, somebody just asked me for like straight up advice the other day, and I like let me pull that up. Like, it was over Instagram, and it was great. So, yeah. your advice? My advice. Modest. Cool. <laughs> I've like 2017 was a year that like I just learned a ton about like whose dog is barking? It's not mine. Someone is riding a bike outside, so I get it. Uh, Probably yeah. Wednesday. It was Tucker. Oh, talk. Advice. Just I don't know if I'm gonna advice, huh? Mm -hmm. Um don't be too trusting. Don't be too trusting. Okay. Trust, but don't be too trusting. Forgive, but don't forget. <gasps> um <laughs> like I had something really good cooked up, but I lost it. Those were good. Yeah, those were good. Those are solid. I'm not done. <laughs> Keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Don't be afraid of saying no. Yeah. Like especially when people are like, "Oh, do you want to go out?" And you're like, "I really need to take care of myself tonight." Do it. Yeah. Take care of yourself. Go put yourself in that bath. Mm -hmm. I've been saying like be unapologetically yourself lately. That's like insanely important. Yeah. Just cause like if somebody doesn't like you, then they suck anyway. <laughs> yeah. Boom. <laughs> Love the hair flip. <laughs> Um, I was going to say something about chicken nuggets, but. Oh my God. I think my whole thing is, um, you know, Jenna's advice was all great. And I agree completely with that. Um, but you know, it's just kind of like, just do whatever you feel comfortable doing, be confident in doing it. Um, and then in like situations where you're like, wow, what the fuck? I really don't know what's going on. Just think like, what would Rihanna do? Riri. Yeah. Yeah. She, oh, and when you talk about being unapologetic, I mean, she has a record called Unapologetic. So mm -hmm. I, that's it. Great. Just be Rihanna. Yeah, be Rihanna, always. I was gonna say, um, trust your instincts, because I feel like that's something that we all can get better at. Because um, you usually know what the right thing to do is, it's just hard to listen to yourself. But um, to go off of what Carl said, if you can't trust your own, then trust what you think Rihanna's instinct would be. <laughs> <laughs> My instinct led me into a Craigslist scam once, so. Wow, ooh, share, please. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I don't know, I can't. It's like so, it's like such an 18 year old dad. Yeah. Oh, okay. We'll text about later. I want to know. Yeah, let's text. Group text. Group text. Um, <clears throat> I agree with everybody. What everybody has said. I, I think for me, the main thing that I have to always remind myself is just to uh, stop uh, hating myself. Try to not hate yourself so much. Uh, because those those voices are so loud <laughs> for a lot of people. I mean, for me, it's like the only voice I ever hear is like uh, that you're that I'm bad and shit coming from myself, not nobody else. Um, <laughs> All compliments uh, from everyone else. Yeah, everybody's complimenting <laughs> um, all the time. Uh, so that's the main thing, and then also just to kind of like what we were saying earlier about starting a band and stuff is just to just freaking do it and don't like worry about everything being perfect and stuff and just you're never going to learn how to do anything you're never going to start amazing you know you always have to kind of learn how to do everything and just don't be afraid of doing it your own way there's a quote from a movie about nick cave uh where he says at the end to act on a bad idea is better than to not act at all i'm looking up because i have it written above my computer uh, but that is like the best uh, thing I've ever heard. Yeah, big, true. I agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Lauren, do you have any advice? No. I'm bad at advice. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think you're bad at advice, but yeah. Good work, right. team. This was very yeah, fun. Thank you guys. Wait, I'll hit stop. Hell yeah. Content. Bye bye. Love you. Bye. <laughs> bye online. Bye online. Bye. <laughs>